Hi, my name's Shelly, and I'm here to talk to you about exercise and money and how they don't have a damn thing to do with each other. And yet they do, but they shouldn't have to. I have lots of friends who are either single moms, run their own businesses, and just don't have a lot of fucking time on their hands to be parts of expensive programs. And I get it. A lot of this shit cost a lot of money. But I'm going to give you some advice. And guess what? I'm going to give it to you for free. It's not going to cost you one damn red cent. Just remember, none of this has to cost you anything. For instance, I'm going to talk to you how to exercise even if you are strapped for time. And it won't cost you any kind of videotape to watch on TV. Also, we'll talk about those expensive supplemental things that you have to pay for each month to make sure you've got the right vitamins and nutrients, when all you really need are things readily available in your home. Mm. Mm. Look, this is called an exercise mat. Everybody likes to go out and buy them. They're expensive and fancy, but you know what else there is? I call it a towel. You should have one at your home, too. You can lay it down on any floor or carpet, and it'll work just as well, and it won't cost you anything extra. The hardest thing about exercise is motivation and just doing it. But that's all you have to do. Just fucking do it. Get home, put aside a little bit of time. Your kids are crying, you gotta make dinner, you're tired as shit, well, fit in 10 minutes. Turn on the program, turn on the earbuds, put your child in front of the TV, and just fit in some time. Do some crunches. Heck. I got these babies off Craigslist. I think they were like $10. Stand in front of your kitchen while the food is cooking. Lift. Lift. Repetition is the key in my opinion. As women get older, we think we should just, you know, do cardio. Cardio, cardio, cardio. Oh, and by the way, you can usually get other people's exercise equipment on Craigslist too. This one was just 50 bucks and it helps me get a little bit of a workout. But you know what else you can do? You can take your kid to the park, walk, run, do some sprints. It's easy, and you know what else? <laughs> it's fucking free. I know what you're thinking, but I can't afford those $150 shakes and all those fancy things. I need those. They're good for my system. Let me tell you what else is good for your system. It's called water. I'm getting mine right out of this fancy refrigerator. It's not costing me very much. And you know what? It's one of the best things for your body. Mmm. That and some wine on occasion. That brings me to my next topic. I don't beat myself up for having a few nice things every once in a while. You know why? Because one day I'm going to be fucking dead. That's right. Dead. And there won't be any cupcakes for me or chocolate cake, or fine rosé. So I'm gonna enjoy some of those things now, while I'm alive. Doesn't mean I get up every day and gorge myself with a whole cake and then throw it up. That's no good for you or your health. I wouldn't suggest it. But moderation is the key. Life's just too fucking short. So in conclusion of this brief video, remember, exercise shouldn't take a million months of your time. It shouldn't cost you thousands of dollars. It's something you can do for free 99. Just take the time to do it. Find a friend that needs the motivation too. Drink water. Fit in five, ten minutes throughout your day if you can, even at your job place. I'm here for you when you need me. Let's keep it real. That's the name of my program. Have a good day.